In an unknown city in America, there is supposedly a haunted house with 13 floors and a challenge. The challenge is that if you are able to endure all 13 floors of terror, you will receive a large unknown cash payment. If you cannot finish all 13 floors, that's okay, majority of people don't. But those who do, they're never seen from again. <laughs> One Halloween afternoon, there was a woman who had waited until the last minute to come up with a costume. She was furiously looking through her closet when she remembered that there was a trunk of old clothes in the attic of her mother's house. She hurried to her mother's house and quickly found the trunk. Inside, she found everything she needed to finish her costume. Gloves, boots, a wig, and a hat. That night, she looked fabulous in her costume, but after an hour, her head began to really itch, so she started to scratch all over her scalp. People began to back away from her and scream. Right after she started scratching, Thousands of spiders crawled down her face, her body, and onto the floor. A young man was practicing his role as a scarecrow in a haunted house attraction, where he accidentally hanged himself. He was left there hanging for days, because whenever someone saw him, they thought he was just another Halloween decoration. He was only discovered when the attraction was being taken down. Unfortunately, this urban legend is true. 28 years ago, a teenager was working at a local haunted hayride attraction, where he was supposed to say a small speech on top of a makeshift gallows and then pretend to be hanged. Early Halloween day, he had practiced with no problems. But that night, when the hayride went by for the first time, something went wrong, and the teenager was hanged. The second time around, the driver thought it odd that the young man didn't give a speech, but didn't give it a second thought. Eventually, hayride customers discovered the poor teenager's corpse. One Halloween, two girls named Mary and Autumn decided to have a sleepover at Autumn's house. Autumn's parents were out of town and she hated being home alone. When Mary rang the doorbell, Autumn answered the door in a red silk nightgown with a furry collar. Mary was instantly envious, but didn't say anything. The two girls sat down and watched some scary movies. The girls were having a very good time until Mary heard a soft sound. She was alarmed and looked at Autumn, but she hadn't noticed anything. Some time had passed and yet again, Mary heard a noise. It was closer this time, but as before, Autumn didn't notice. Autumn did notice when the thumping noise happened right behind her and Mary. The two girls jumped up and ran upstairs to Autumn's room. They slammed the door shut and hid in the dark. They hid until the silence was broken by a clock striking midnight.
All of a sudden, Autumn got up and ran out of the room, shutting the door behind her. But Mary decided to stay exactly where she was. A short time later, Mary heard the thumping noise again. It was coming up the stairs. Then suddenly, the noise just stopped. Mary gathered up her courage and got up. She opened the door and reached into the darkness to feel where the wall was. Instead of finding the wall, she found something soft. It was Autumn's nightgown. Mary thought it was odd that her friend wasn't moving or saying anything. So she moved her hand upwards and found Autumn's furry collar wet with something. She moved further upwards, but felt nothing but a stump. <coughs> Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. And if you already have, thank you very much.